Well, I did so many videos on the Bose 901s and usually I didn't make review or oh, in this case it's not just a review is also there's a few tips that I can give to the people that own these speakers or people who want to buy these speakers so these are not a usual woofer tweeter sound this is very different sound speakers and someone asked me with all the speakers that you have and had before which one is your favorite speakers and i know that the bose 601 series 3 is the legendary speaker of bose but i personally prefer the bose 901 series 6 and i actually have three pairs of bose 901 series 6 now this pair i'm gonna get rid of those because I already have the black one. Yeah, this is the black finish. Yeah, it's very nice condition as you see. The silver stands and all of that. But I have the same one. Yeah, I have the same one in the storage. So why I need another one? I don't need another one. I'm looking. I have the one with the wood finish. I have the one black one, the same like this. Now I'm looking for the blonde. I don't have the blonde. It's very rare to find the color of the blonde. And there's also piano finish. I don't have the piano finish, so I want to get the old Bose 901 Series 6 with a different look. They have a different look. Well, this is what about me and what I want. But uh, if you don't have this speaker, so you need to know a few things. Well, I did few sounds demos. Some of them sounds better. Some of them not that good. Well, you know, depends the way you, you listen in your computer, on your speakers or whatever. So these speakers, as I say, is not unusual speaker. As you see, it's beautiful speaker though, very beautiful speaker. And the way they position this way is my favorite way to position the speakers. Well, they're supposed to be the opposite direction, yeah? They're supposed to be when the speakers yeah this part supposed to be to the wall and the other side over here supposed to be for the front but uh, f so you rely on the walls to to balance the sound and pretty much how the sound is going to sound like yeah from the walls because this is the reflecting ideal that you get the sound from the walls well the sound the reflecting sound is have a bigger sound stage than this position and the, also the sounds is less accurate but is really gonna fit for few types of music and few other types of music is not gonna sound as good so it's really you know yes or no yes or no this speaker is yes or no but but when I position this speaker this way, I'm not rely on the walls anymore. And the sound is very accurate. Um, I don't know, with all the studio monitors that I ever have and still have, speakers that can be so accurate with vocals, guitars, a snare, a, the, 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 these unbelievable pianos, especially pianos. Or cello well so I already say enough so in this position the speakers are way more accurate the sound stage is to the front but the Bose 901 is not speakers that as you see I have two equalizers yeah I have the red one I never have the red one I have a few other ones I have the the green ones so this time I got the red one, so it's pretty cool. And if, if you think there's a difference between the two, so I must to admit that the, the red one have a little bit more bass. Yeah, even both are exactly the same, but the red one, I think, have a little bit more bass. But slightly, yeah, slightly. It's not a big difference. 
So if you have the green one, you're perfectly fine. No, don't worry about that. Well, my advice with the Bose 901 series speakers, even though that you have receiver and you have the equalizer, in my opinion, the, this is not enough. You need to add another device, first of all, to get the best of the speakers. Now, if you have amplifier that can give you what the other device can give, that means more clarity in the highs and better separation and better bass, so you're good to go. But the, the way I see it, yeah, the way I see it, and I had a lot of amplifiers with these speakers, I always needed to use another device. In this case, I use the Sonic Maximizer. That is the fin over there. Yeah, the one above the silver. If you see it over there. The Sonic Maximizer, what is doing, I'm not going to get too many details about the Sonic Maximizer, but uh, is uh, fixing phase issues, is also give dynamics to the bass and uh, for the highs so in this case is going to give it at least what I think what I consider as a better sound from the speakers because it's also separate between the mid bass and the low bass so this sonic maximizer is pretty cool thing for these speakers so if you notice my Bose equalizer is the highs on on the center position, the base, the switch of the base is out, that meaning I get in the low base, and I increase a little bit the mid base on the position over there. And the sonic maximizer, I increase, I increase a little bit the highs and a little bit the base. And that's what I'm talking about, that you need to have another device, because to me, amplifier, is gonna, I mean, it depends in the amplifier, of course, yeah, it depends in the amplifier, but if I take, for example, yeah, this Rotel receiver over there, this Rotel receiver over there is very neutral sound, very neutral, so it's gonna let you listen for the speakers more than the amplifier himself. So I want to give more character for the sound, so of course I use one of the equalizer, I don't use both, and I use the Sonic Maximizer to increase the bass and increase a little bit the mid-range high area. And I get really crispy sound. And I must, must to say, and I always say what I think, this is still, you know, when you're using another device. Now, I have over there also the Behringer tube preamplifier. I used to use it many times with the Bose 901s, but the sound is kind of soft and and I, you know, it's kind of cool tube sound and all of that but the, today I'm using the Sonic Maximizer and the Behringer is out of the chain so I always recommend with the Bose 901 the equalizer that you have is, in my opinion, is not enough or at least the speakers can be much better if you add another device that you can tone, control the tone of the speaker. Because these speakers, I must, yeah, I say that this is my favorite still. Still, I have excellent speakers. Believe me, I have excellent speakers. But still, the Bose 901 can do things. Especially the mid-range area is phenomenal. The clarity, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. There's uh, no, no exists. Such a clarity in the mid-range area. Now, this is not only the mid-range. First of all, the, a lot of people say this is full range and not the mid-range. In my opinion, if you take one driver or the Bose 901 and connect the driver direct to your receiver, this is not exactly full range. Driver is more like a mid-range because like 75% of the energy of the Bose 901 driver is the mid-section. 
and you get a little bit highs and a little bit of bass. So Bose pretty much took the four inch mid-range driver and with the equalizer, they force them to become to a full range driver. Well, so this is my advice with the Bose 901 if you want to get the best of those. In this case, I use the Sonic Maximizer, the BBB over there, BBE, I'm sorry, yeah. And it's not expensive, it's pretty cheap. But, uh, well, so now we're gonna listen a few type of music and see what you think about the sound. Yeah, think what you think about the sound because these are one of the, as I say, my still, still, when you connect the speakers, give them the right electronics, probably the, the one of the very best speakers that I ever had still is my favorite. Well, the Bose 901, 901s no have the sweet color for mid-range like, for example, BMWs, vintage BMWs. No, they don't have that, but they have clarity and natural sound. And the sound is very balanced. So, okay, let's check a few type of music. I play electric guitar, I do some vocals, maybe I do club music one by one. And I hope that somebody gonna take my advice before he buy the speakers or after he bought the speakers and gonna do the the other electric device the another tone control that i think these speakers need to have except the equalizer now the the bose uh, series one and i have like 10 pairs of bose 901s until now at least 10. the bose 901 series one on the equalizer have another option that this equalizer don't have it was like a switch over there when you use the switch is increasing the mid-range mid-high area and the mid-range sounds more thick so i really like if Bose in this equalizer have this option but unfortunately they don't have this option so i prefer personally i prefer personally the options that the Bose 901 series 1 and 2 equalizer have but you know the very old series one and two, the equalizers the from the seventies. Oh, the I think from the seventies, the late sixties. I'm not exactly remember. So you need to rebuild the entire equalizer. But you know this equalizer is okay, is okay. But I'm just saying that the, the Bose uh, 901 series one and two they have a little bit more options on the equalizer that I like and I miss. Well, okay, I start with the electric guitar and you see what you're thinking.
set and raise the history over here. Maybe I do a little bit vocals, female vocals. Yeah, I plan it. Where is the hell? What happened to this computer? Oh yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, let's give some something with bass. Something with bass, because people say there's no bass. There's no bass. Yeah, okay. Listen for this thing. Listen for this thing. Don't listen for this Good people anymore. One is second, one are second. Important, but if Mute this thing. Well, okay, let's move. Something else. I did the mute. Listen for the clarity, my friends. Listen for the clarity. I got my Something else, something else. I, I just love the way the speaker sounds. Well, I'm looking for something with vocals. Well, I think this is gonna be the last part, so I can demonstrate. I don't know, my computer got uh, sleepy today. I'm looking for where is the lady from yesterday? There was one lady, nice song, something cute. Where she's gone? I don't know. Where she's gone? I'm looking for this pizza maker by birth and b &H customer for life. Am I missing anything here? Teacher, entrepreneur, product designer. I love how your eyes close whenever you kiss me. And when I'm away from you, I love how you miss me.
Well, I think I'm done with this video and I try to give the best advice is possible. Yes, just get this one. What about this song? Okay, let's do this one. 